you know, and then now all the critics come out and say say what they say, you know. But at the end of the day we've we've got some like faith restored in that England team. Yeah guys, we're out here in the streets again. Same day, gonna get my hair cut. So let's go. They ask me how I knew my true love was true. There was a wasp guys, but I'm okay. I am okay, I hope you are too. And I hope you have not been stung by a wasp. Because I almost did. But yeah. It's not as hot. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I love the heat, so... No, it's not a good thing. But what is a good thing is... England can get to the final. If we beat Croatia. Come on England. Guys, I'm just editing my previous vlog. I want to remind you that that I'm um, just that previous vlog before the uh, Eric Clapton one. That vlog is just so successful, and I'm grateful for all the views and all of you new subscribers who would have tuned in for it. Most probably, probably for some of you, it's the first video you've seen. For some of you, you've been there a while, so you know all about what I do on the channel. So it's nothing new to you, really. To those of you who are new, thank you, and thank you for the continued support. To the rest of you who've been here a while, but I'm grateful to all of you for all the views, 111 views. That's not normal. For me anyway, that's a lot. Get excited about that, you know. One day it'll be like, oh, I've got 5 million views, I'm not happy. And thank you guys for your support. Let's pray for England. Come on England, it's coming home. Anyway guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in a bit. Ciao. Ooh, nice day. You're born alone and you die alone, and this world just drops a bunch of rules on top of you to make you forget those facts. Well that was loud, but yeah guys, we're out here in the streets again. Same day, gonna get my hair cut. It's a well-made ramp though. Yes, it's isn't it? Well-made. You got your waistcoat on, Dad? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, Yeah. Wow.
Someone needs to clean their car though. But yeah guys, I've got a good car that I've just seen that I want to show you. A Mustang down the road here. It is nice. Alright, when I say nice, I mean nice. It's the latest Mustang. GT500, whatever they call it. Let's check to make sure. But that is nice. No, I don't say, does it? White Rose Motors are up, up the road. But yeah, look at them rims. With the badge on and all. It does look a bit German, to be honest. But you go around the front, look at that. That badge. Never disappoints. So, here. Like where this bit is right here. And there, there's a brick wall like across here. So this was just like a little driveway. But now back here you got a whole garage. Not bad. It's randomly noticed that. Because I pass here all the time, so I was like, hold on, what's going on here? It's like a secret alleyway. But yeah, on we go with the journey. Back home. Got to finish the edit. And then Hopefully play a bit of FIFA with the geezer, one and only, Jack, a good mate of mine. We always play FIFA and most days one of us plays better than the other and one of us gets battered and it comes off like worse than the other in terms of the overall, if you know what I mean. But it's probably about the equal, you know, he, he wins a few, I win a few. We both, every now and then we both batter each other. There'd be the odd five goal, seven goal thriller, you know. But most of the time, it's pretty close, it's pretty close. But yeah, so I'm gonna play him on FIFA, then watch the England game. And that is it for today. Hey yo guys, what's going on? What's going on? I got my waistcoat on. Yeah, it's not your typical Gareth Southgate waistcoat, but it's a waistcoat nonetheless. Like, I'm wearing this after we win. I'm wearing this every day. I don't care. I'm buying a waistcoat like Gareth. But yeah, let's enjoy this game, and I'll see you on the next vlog. You will see my reaction, and it will be good. So I'm wearing my lucky waistcoat. Take it easy, fam. Peace, and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what to tell you guys. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Because the way I ended this video, I, I mean, the way I left it before this bit of the video, it was yesterday. And things were good. And we were all saying it was coming home, come on England. We believed. I mean, we didn't just believe. The players and the manager believed, and they were good enough to. Well, we all knew the past, we knew what had happened before, 
how difficult it's always been for us. But this time, it felt different. It felt something special was there. And there is, because there's hope, because they're young, and four years' time, this England team will be a lot more experienced. But it just hurts. It's a sore wound. And late in the game, extra time, the way that happened is just painful. I mean, because we started well. I mean, if you start a game bad, it's different because you have time to get yourself back into it. But we didn't do that. And it goes to show what experience gets you. And we could have played better. Maybe we did. We didn't take our chances, though. So did we create enough to get to take enough chances? No. We didn't create enough chances. But the ones we should we should have converted for those chances we did have, did have. So I can't even speak. It's like it's a sore wound. It's a bit of pill to swallow, but we got done by experience. What what happened? Mandzukic, Modric, Rakitic, they play for top clubs in Europe, and they're experienced more than most of our players. I mean, from the last World Cup, I think we have two players in the squad: Cahill and. Not Henderson, Henderson, I think, yeah, or Welbeck, yeah. So not many at all from the previous World Cup. So the experience was at a low. Players are young, and it's, I don't know what happened to them. There was a moment in the game where they were dropped, and for the first time in this tournament, even I thought, can they do this? Can they get through this? At 1-1 one, one you thought, well, they haven't created enough so far, so they've got to do more. But they didn't do more. It's faded away in the game. And you saw that how tired the players were. They're younger, yeah. But the experience gets you there. And that's what what we lost out on in the end, I think. We didn't play terribly. We were, did amazing up until that game. And what a goal trip here. And it's just a shame that we had to play in 10 men. And what happened to him? Great player. And we're down to 10 because of him getting the uh, injury, you know, groin strain, nothing you can do. You know, and then now will the critics come out and say, say what they say, you know. But at the end of the day, we've, we've got some, like, faith restored in that England team. I'm going to end it here, guys, because this is just a sour note, in it? Um, so, yeah, earlier in the vlog yesterday, I had my hair cut. And it was a lovely day, a great day, until that. But you've got to get on. It, it, it's football. But we all have our own everyday lives. So yeah, I'm going to end it with a smile at least. At least, knowing that four years' time we're going to be so good. Or we better be, because we can't go through this again, come on. But yeah, we've done. they've done us proud. One thing I can say is they've done us proud to get that far to play the way they have. I enjoyed watching England play. And I'm, I'm serious when I say that. They played well up until that. But it is what it is. Third place playoff against Belgium. Come on Kane, get the golden boot at least. Beat Lukaku to that. Come on, you got seven. Has he got seven? I think he's got seven goals. But yeah, that is what happened. A lot of us, even me, I believed we could win it. Don't be disheartened because you believe they could win it. Because if you don't believe, what are you, you going to do? How are you going to win if you don't believe? Before, I used to be messed up, but I learned, you know what I'm saying? I come back stronger. You know, I'm not talking to ignorant, you know what I'm saying?